happy Sunday. I just wanted to do a video on my recent purchases at Plato's Closet. So I went to Plato's Closet because my friend wanted to sell some of her older items. So if you have a lot of items and you just have too much inventory and want to get rid of them, you can take it to somewhere like Plato's Closet or you could send it to Tread Up Lux or Tread Up or you could just donate them. So I just went with her and I noticed that they had like a big sale. I believe it was like 75% off and I was just looking around and I purchased some items there when I was at the store. So just wanted to give you um, some tips and tricks of what I do when I go to consignment shops. So this was one of the shoes that I purchased and the reason why I purchased this is this is kind of like a Chanel inspired kind of shoe and it was 75% off of the clearance price and this was the clearance sticker and it was my size and I just if it didn't sell I was thinking I could just keep it in their flats and these are another shoe that I purchased there were Zara shoes and the nice thing about these shoes that I purchased they were um, with the tags so if you like anything you guys could also DM me if you want anything this is seven and a half and this is size six and these kind of diamond fox um shoes seems to really do well in my store whenever i sell them and i purchased this dress this dress is also zara and this was a size small and it's like just like a black turtleneck dress kind of like a classic style so that's also in my poshmark store um I usually don't pick up too much free people but because it was such a good discount I picked up this kind of really cute free people dress and I tend to pick up smaller sizes for Poshmark and then eBay I pick up plus sizes this is a purple kind of dress and this is also free people and I just make sure that when I do get something like free people that it's actually a really good price this is a little floral free people dress i got this top it's kind of like um vintage looking this is maggie london i don't pick up a lot of maggie maggie london tops but just because it's floral and it has like this kind of puff shoulders it's kind of like that vintage look that a lot of people are purchasing right now like even with the dresses with the the puff sleeves is really on trend so if something's on trend i'll pick them up this is berkshire and berkshire is actually like a uh, connected to zara so i always get things like that so this is a plus size which i would probably sell more like on ebay so torrid eloquai and um those plus size lane bryant eileen fisher plus size i'll pick those up based on the style and the reason why I picked this up because there's like a little like a detail I always try to pick up things with like little special details or just like little pretty styles this is Paige jeans I don't pick up a lot of pants because I don't sell a lot of pants but when they're skinny jeans and they're a decent brand and the price is pretty inexpensive then I'll pick those up this right here is mark jacobs so mark jacobs is kind of hit or miss but i just thought this was cute because it's floral and it's nice for the spring so i'll pick that up and this also is kimchi blue which is like urban outfitters i don't pick up a lot of urban outfitters but this is a cute dress and it was like under five dollars so i picked that up and sometimes also um this was a free people dress and I picked this up even though it was a little bit more on the pricey side because I just thought that if it doesn't sell I'll just keep it myself <laughs> so some items if they fit me and they might not sell because it's a little bit pricier I'll just keep it for myself this is also um we the free which is like a free people tank top so this store particularly picks up mall brands and so if you have like a lot of mall brand items then they'll like probably pick it up this is lacoste so this brand i don't usually pick up because i know the msrp is very 
expensive and it's kind of like a nice spring dress that's why I picked that up and this is also Lacoste men and again I don't pick up this brand but because it has like a nice kind of spring leaf vibe and Tommy Bahama style I picked that up this one is truly madly deeply and it's just like um a cute little relaxed tank top dress and then I don't pick up a lot of this brand unless it's really cheap but I sell a lot of pink on Macari so pink and Nike sells really well on Macari so I'll put that on Macari and the last shoe I got was this Zara shoe so I only pick up Zara if they're like in really good condition this is new with tag size 8 and it's just nice for the spring because it's a sandal. So I always try to do each platform for different styles. So like the pink, Nike, I would put on Macari. The plus size, like the Torrid that you saw, I would put on eBay. And then for Poshmark, it would all be the Free People, the Zara, and that, I would do that. And then on Trade C, I would put Lacoste and like the higher end brands. So my sales have been really good this weekend because I'm always on different platforms and putting each item for each price point that would work well with that platform. And then like on Amazon, I'll sell things like, you know, candy dispensers or certain snacks that are hot for the springtime. And like I was just at Walmart and I saw one of those, you know, like those floaties and it was $15 and selling on Amazon for $50. And if you go to any grocery store, the main lobby is kind of like going to give you a heads up on what might be trending for the grocery industry at that point, at that time. So if you're on a bunch of different platforms, whenever they say summer slowdown or whatever, you still won't be slow because you have items that are popular in each section. So like an Amazon right now, back to school is popular. So I had some crayons sell for like $25. And then like um, each platform still gives me enough income coming in that I won't have any kind of slowdown. So I always want to preach you know multiple platforms just to keep the risk diversified and knowing what market sells on each platform and knowing what time and season and trends are popular for each platform as well and i promise you if you know those things you will not be going slow on any season because you're buying what's in demand for each platform during the trending time. So I hope this helps somebody. If you can like and subscribe, I would love it. And my Instagram is Bunch of Styles. And I have a Facebook group. It's called Christian Bunch of Styles Christian Reseller Facebook group. So if you wanted to join that. And thank you so much for spending your Sunday evening with me. Bye.